welcome back this is Madan uh, in this video we are going to create uh, we are going to implement uh, the generic repository that we created uh, in uh, our previous video and this is uh, this video is the part 2 of our generic repository implementation so in last video we created the i generic repository and generic repository classes uh, so in this video i'm going to create a model uh, let's say the student model and the teacher model and then we create the repository for them and we implement the generic repository in each of our repository and call that from the controller so let's create a model so i'm going let's uh, expand the model folder and then create the model name student.cs i'm going to copy this name so that i can use it use it later so let's give it a name space of uh, generic uh, generic repo demo dot dls models and uh, create a class public class and name of our class and let's define a few properties here just for the sake of uh, example id and then prop oops prop prop so prop string first name and then prop string the middle name and then prop prop string last name let's keep this simple and um, we just want to see how our generic repository works so we have defined the student class and let's define another class in file ts yes here teacher.cs and let's copy this name teacher.cs and then let's define the namespace for this this is in generic gnrc rpo demo dot models and let's create a class of public class and generic teacher and then let's define few properties here in id and then we are copy prop string dhs here teacher name and then we are copy prop string qualification qualification so let's define only those properties and uh, whenever we want to perform the database operation and uh, if we want to follow the generic uh, if we want to follow the repository pattern then we create the repositories for student and teacher models so let's do that i'm going to go over and create the repository folder here repository and then let's create uh, uh, two files for every single model so for a student we do i student repository.cs and this is the interface let's copy this and then let's create the interface here namespace gnrc generic repo generic demo dot repository repos since this file is in inside the repository folder so public interface and i student repository and now this i student repository inherits from i generic repository since we have defined uh, generic uh, methods that we that are applicable for all of our models uh, in this interface so we just have to uh, implement this interface here i g n e r i c generic r e p u s i t o r y generic repository and we pass the name of the student class the student class uh, since this I generic repository requires the parameter so let's bring in the namespace here and namespace for the student and we are good to go so we don't need to define any methods if we, whenever we need uh, uh, to perform these operations we have already defined these methods here in i generic repository and our i student repository is implementing those methods and um, if we ever need to perform any more other operations that are specific to particular model then of course we can define those methods uh, uh, in their respective repositories so our interface is complete now and let's create another file called student repo repository.cs let's copy this name here and i'm going to let's create a class namespace uh, gnrc generic repo demo dot repository public public class 
student repository and this class inherits from generic repository generic repository -E repository and requires student and it also inherits from i student repository repository -E repository so let's bring in the namespace here and then let's bring in the namespace for student as well and uh, we are since we are inheriting the generic repository class from here and in generic repository class we have a constructor and that requires the parameter of type application db context so we have to pass that parameter from here so let's create a constructor ctor and then student repository and let's take application db context as a parameter context and let's bring in the namespace and since our base class generic repository expect us to pass the parameter of application db context so we pass this parameter by using the base keyword now everything is okay and we are good to go now our student repository is uh, implementing the generic repository so all the methods that are here are available in, in our student repository class Similarly, we can create this generic repository for our teacher uh, by following the same process. So let's create another file here. I, I T A C S here teacher I P O S I T O R Y repository dot C S, and let's copy this name repository. And this is the interface. So let's give the namespace of uh, generic repo repo demo dot repository public interface public interface uh, teacher repository and this also inherits from our generic repository generic repository repository and I will pass teacher teacher as a parameter so let's bring in the namespace for this and namespace for our teacher model as well and uh, our interface for the teacher repository is ready and let's create the actual repository class for our teacher dot cs let's write the namespace namespace of gnrc repository dot generic repo dm demo dot repository and public class teacher repository this class inherits from gnrc generic repository of teacher we pass teacher as a parameter and this inherits from i t s as your teacher repository so let's bring in the respective namespaces and let's create the constructor and then pass the context so with this we are good to go with our teacher repository as well now in order to use those repositories we need to define that in our startup class so let's come over here and let's define the services services dot add transient i teacher repository repository teacher repository repository and let's bring in the namespace for them teacher repository and let's add another service here service system a transient i std student repository and student repository so with this uh, we have created the model classes and repositories and in next video we will implement those repositories from our controller and uh, we see the example of generic repository so this is it for this video thanks for watching have a good day